Welcome to another First Impressions video. This time we have the V-Core 98. Heading indoors here while well, it's very cold uh, with the hitting part of mine. My back is still hurting in this footage, so unfortunately I don't have a lot of serving footage here. So mostly ground stroke practice. Got a few volleys in as well, but uh, just really looking to get a feel for the racket the first couple times I'm out. The current racket of choice for me is the V-Core 95, which made this a really natural play test for me. I've never played the 98 or the 100 before, so uh, it was fun taking them out. They were uh, both strung with multi-filament string, which not what I'm used to. Um, but I was still getting decent spin, decent pop, and control out of these frames, which was a nice surprise. Um, I play an aggressive baseline style, but I'm not afraid to go up and close into the net. I rely a lot on my serve and my forehand to, to win points, and I hit a lot of slice backhands um, alongside a one-handed backhand, um, and as you see it right there. Yeah, I'm already explaining here what I like about the racket and what I find different from the V-Core 100. Uh, it definitely feels less maneuverable out of the box than the V-Core 100, which is, which is fine. The V-Core 100 is exceptionally maneuverable. I felt it was really easy to direct the ball uh, and go for smaller targets compared to the 100, which was nice. And depth. Uh, when being able to set up or having the ball come to you more so, uh, it's definitely easier to get depth consistently. When getting pulled out wide or hitting defensive shots, slice forehands when you're out wide, stuff like that, uh, the V-Core 100 definitely shined a bit more, like the, the free power there. Um, the V-Core 98, in contrast, was pretty similar compared to my V-Core 95, where it doesn't give you much for free uh, when you're pulled out wide and you're not prepped as much. Uh, the feel was really comfortable, uh, muted. The pocketing and the throat was definitely a little bit more emphasized than what I'm used to from my 2021 V-Core 95 that I'm really used to, especially on harder paced shots or when hitting more through the ball. Um, I really like flexible rackets in general. I mean, I used to play with the Vocal C10 Pro, which has an insanely flexible hoop area, uh, but this wasn't really my cup of tea. I think I preferred the more direct feel of my 2021 V-Core 95. Um, it's solid enough at the net, nothing super special. Um, there's not enough weight really to let the work, uh, let the rack do all the work for you, but it's still maneuverable, um, not quite as pointed and shoot like the V-Core 100 was. Like I said, I didn't get to serve this much um, as I was dealing with some back issues. If it serves anything like my V-Core 95, it packs a punch on both first and second serves. Um, please check out any of my match play videos for, for footage of the serve. I don't have any with a 98 like I said, but if you are curious about um, how that might go, feel free to check those videos out. I also don't play with a two-handed backhand in matches, but felt super comfortable hitting 200s right off the bat with this frame. You'll see in a little bit, I'll be messing around hitting a few of those two-handers. Uh, with the racket being so quick through the air relative to my V-Core 95 that's kind of modded up, um, I found it really lent itself to a two-handed backhand stroke. Adding more weight to this uh, would probably be a necessity for me to be 100% comfortable on the backhand side. So in general, why this racket isn't for me, I'll start with first. It's easier to find depth and consistency, maybe due to that larger frame size and wider spacing than my 95, but I could feel myself kind of unconsciously letting off the gas too much at times. Um, I think my game in particular really benefits from keeping focus on my footwork, really staying aggressive with my feet and moving through the shot as my shots are pretty linear. Uh, and yeah, keeping my rack head speed up is super important. I think the, the 95 really keeps me honest there, which I think helps me keep improving, which I'm always looking to do. Closing thoughts. I think flatter hitters wanting more spin in a controllable package compared to the V-Core 100 is really going to enjoy this frame. I think the frame's pretty similar in terms of feel. 
and uh, the strengths of the racket, but having a little bit more control, um, you might enjoy the 98 a bit more. Counter punchers and kind of grinders who really rely on spin rather than hitting through the court might also really enjoy this. Uh, you can create a really heavy ball with this one pretty easily. The feel really isn't as sweet as the 95 and the frame isn't as fun kind of as the 100 as uh, you may have seen in my previous video comparing the Pure Arrow and the V-Core 100, but uh, I think the 98 strikes a decent middle ground between the two for those who kind of want something in between that super fun, light, maneuverable package and something that really keeps you, uh, keep your foot on the gas. And as always, always demo these rackets if you can, uh, whether that's from Tennis Warehouse or a local shop. Um, I personally won't be making my switch for my 95s as of yet, um, but stay tuned for my full take on the new V-Core 95 that I recently tested out as well. Thanks for watching.